with the Monkey Island Tall Tale coming to Sea of Thieves. Getting things right is essential. There's the official way to do Tall Tales, and then there is the right way. Don't worry, if you still need to attempt Tall Tales, this will be spoiler free. But let's say you play them the way Sea of Thieves intended. You will be disappointed, and I'll tell you why, with an additional tip at the end of the video that will allow you to get the Gold Hoarder Curse and all Tall Tale cosmetics without having to do everything 5 times. If you join my Patreon, it will help me a lot and you will get awesome perks, including my behind the scenes tomato farm. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Fuzzy here, sit back, relax and enjoy. In April 2019, the anniversary update was released, full of tall tales and packed with Sea of Thieves official lore that revealed a lot about what the game is, why everyone's the way they are and how it will shape the future of Sea of Thieves, the Shores of Gold series, and after, we got the Heart of Fire and the Seabound Soul, related more towards Flameheart and the Pringles guy, revealing more secrets about the Sea of Thieves origins. These tall tales offered high quality and refined experiences that brought much to the table until June 22nd of 2021. When Rare decided to drop the bomb, that messed up the timeline of how events are aligned so they could promote Jack Sparrow. Now that update brought a lot of players to see if thieves and us content creators we couldn't be happier. Numbers mean awesome. But with that aside, this caused a significant after effect in the game itself that left players confused. Why, what, where and what the heck is happening here? As a new player, you want to open Tall Tales and the first thing you see slapped in your face is Jack Sparrow in the menu. Of course, that's how it is now. Maybe it will change when Monkey Island arrives on July 20th. Regardless, once you log into the game and open Tall Tales, you see the Jack Sparrow, the Pirate's Life series of five Tall Tales starting at number one in the menu, before Shores of Gold. And for Pirate's Life, every Tall Tale is nicely aligned on every single outpost of the game by the Outcast and you can go straight to them and start whichever one you want of the series at any time. However, for the Shores of Gold, each tall tale requires you to travel somewhere on the map to start that, except the first one, the Shroud Breaker. So players are more likely to start Pirate's Life before Shores of Gold. It's everywhere and easier to access. Now you might ask, what's the problem with that? See. The Pirate's Life Tall Tale series takes place after the Shores of Gold. Easter eggs and things in the Jack Sparrow adventure refer to the past when Shores of Gold happened. So if you do this one first, Pirate's Life, and then later, in Shores of Gold, once you complete it, you will connect the dots but feel disappointed as some things will not actually be the way they appeared and spoilers will immediately be noticed. It's like watching The Matrix 2 before the first one. I don't know why they won't shuffle these and put Pirate's Life after Shores of Gold in the menu unless the Mickey Mouse license doesn't allow them to, this should be set after the Shores of Gold. So before we head into how to get these curses without doing 45 Tall Tales, if you still need to do Tall Tales, start with this one, the Shroud Breaker, all the way until the Shores of Gold from 1 to 9. After that, you have these two, Seabound Soul and the Heart of Fire. And then, once all these are done, you can go to Pirate's Life. This is how the timeline is set, and this is the right way to do it. And as mentioned earlier, the Shroud Breaker, start of Shores of Gold, can be started at any tavern next to the Mysterious Stranger. Now, you are doing Tall Tales, and by completing all of them 5 times, you will acquire the Gold Order Curse. And, in addition, you can get other curses by completing all Tall Tales. But why would you want to do the same Tall Tale many times? Since Tall Tales have longer sessions and sometimes syncing to another player doing a Tall Tale makes you lose the item you worked hard to acquire, causing you to start over, Rare added a checkpoint save, where if you sync or had to leave mid-session, you could continue from where you left off. So here's what you do. In the beginning, aim to complete all Tall Tales with every detail just once including finding journals and easter eggs by following all commendations required in each tab. You can use a website like rarethief.com for that. As all these happen before the final chapter. Once you reach the final chapter, you need an account in the crew that never finishes the Tall Tale, which will be the character that saves your checkpoints. As once a Tall Tale is finally completed, these checkpoints will be deleted on that account. Let's say you are a duo crew. Bring a third on the Brigantine or an alt account that you have that is only there to carry the final checkpoint. And once you get the final chapter on each Tall Tale, by checking your Tall Tale quest menu, let that character sign out before you end so to prevent them from completion. Once you you are done and you want to do it again, you don't need to start over. Invite the other character that has the saves, vote for that final chapter again and boom, you can complete only that final step in a matter of minutes, without starting over 4 more times to max all commendations for each tall tale. 
and this way you have acquired all curses and cosmetics they provide. Some kind players will drop you a final chapter save for any tall tales if you want in my discord. I hope this video helps value your time in the seas and not waste it on marketing nonsense. Please subscribe to help me reach 200,000 milestone. Happy sailing!